What is this number? You know that that was the number three, right? And the reason you know that is because maybe you recognize the pattern and certainly because you would have been able to do that from when you were even two years old, perhaps. Because we as humans have this ability to perceive quantities up to five, five and under, just instantly by just seeing them, seeing a pattern, seeing a group of one or two or three or four or five things. We just can instantly know, connect that pattern that we see with the, you know, with the concept of threeness or with the concept of fourness and so on. And if you're a parent, I strongly encourage that you develop this skill in children. It almost doesn't matter how old they are, but certainly from a very, very young age, just get some dice patterns like this and flash them up and do what I just did with you. Just say, tell me this number and do it fairly quickly as well to begin with. Just flash them up. Don't give them time to go one, two, three. Just flash it up and say how many was there. Flash it up and say how many was there. Remember, any quantities up to five, you can pretty much do that for children who are maybe as young as one or two years old. And the reason that that's, that's an important thing to do is that when children now are able to connect, to use their subitization power, if you like, and connect the visual pattern of three with the concept, the, the, you know, the verbal number three, it, is, it gives a powerful foundation on them to now to, to build up their number sense. That is their, their intuition and their understanding of number, of quantity. What you can then go on to do is to start to ask them, say, if you do flash up a number five, once they're, you know, they're very comfortable with subitizing, you can say, okay, what's that? And they'll say five. And then you can talk to them and say, okay, how did you see it? and get them to start to talk about, oh, I saw, some children might say, I saw four dots, the way I see it, I see it as four dots on the outside in the four corners and one dot in the middle. But then some children might say, I see three dots going diagonally and then one dot on the top, one dot, dot on the bottom. Some children might say three dots in a sort of triangle shape on one side and then two on a line on the, on, on the other side. All of those things are building up children's number sense. And it's a fantastic foundation because you can then go on to do larger numbers. You can then go on to show, say, a three and a two and say, what's this? And they'll say five. How do you know it's five? Because it's a three and a two. You're building, starting to build up their, their number bonds uh, uh, awareness and their ability to partition, that is to break up numbers. Then you can start to move on to, you know, five and three, which is eight and five and two and so on and so forth. So... That's my encouragement for you today. That's my advice for parents today. 